out for a morning walk today is july 3rd so happy birthday carolyn to my sister carolyn shout out but also today is mcgillicuddy's promotion ceremony from captain to major so we actually have like legit things we gotta do today luke and i are booked and busy let me tell you what also i've just been so overwhelmed not even overwhelmed just choosing to ignore my responsibilities and um decided that i'm just going to be the family travel agent for the next for the foreseeable future actually so i've already got our first trip booked for labor day weekend i am finishing up the details on our second trip for october for indigenous people's day november unfortunately we'll be back in the states um and then december we got to figure out what we're going to do in december and then miguel leaves me for July, january february march so i don't know what we'll be up to then hopefully we have some sort of child care situation and luca's in school so mom can get our lives together by the time he leaves but anyways that's us this morning also in korea uh older women ajamas as they are called like to give babies gifts whenever they see them anything they have usually it's candy sometimes it's money but usually it's like literally whatever they have on them and this morning was no different luca got a box of opened apple flavored ricolas which he loves by the way who knew because he got into them before i could get them away from him because i didn't want to be rude to the woman so that was a funny morning which i think it has now maybe it's like tied with the most interesting thing we've received which was also a box of individually packed tubes of hand sanitizer that we got our second week of being here so what a morning gorgino it rained like crazy yesterday monsoon season oh lucas saying oh no friends july 10th it's been a long time since i've checked in let me just say up front because i think this might be the first time i'm even talking to you i don't recall what i filmed already but this is movie month so don't expect a lot from me in this vlog i will be doing this but it just probably won't be consistent this month it might just be a few check-ins and that sort of thing let me just update you on where we've been today we had the moving company people come and assess how long they thought it would take to pack up all of our stuff and decide what's going to go to household goods and what can go in unaccompanied for military and on military people unaccompanied baggage is stuff that like comes almost not immediately but like the fastest and there's a lot of restrictions of what can actually go in there. Usually it's like all of your kitchen stuff. And then if you have babies, like their bed and that sort of thing. And then household goods is literally everything else. So he came by this morning. He was supposed to come by at nine. He got there at 8 a.m. sharp. I love that for us. I don't know if you were a part of, if I told you guys about our air conditioning saga. It was awful. July 2nd, first or second, our air conditioning went out and it was miserable and it was so fucking hot and so humid and also it's monsoon season so it's been raining like crazy as well which makes it more humid and that all of the acs in the ceiling have an a dehumidifier like component to it um, somebody came by on the 4th of july i think 4th or 5th of july to just like see to see if they could fix it they were in our house for two to three hours couldn't fix it and then they were like we need to bring in the big big guns but the big guns can't come in until the ninth so we were without ac until literally last night and it was miserable they brought us an air conditioner unit that could only go in our bedroom which is not helpful with the layout of the house it's literally the furthest back uh, rooms and that was supposed to like cool the entire apartment we went went to costco and bought a bunch of fans that was helpful that was good but anyways so that's been our saga lately on top of that we've been doing this there's another saga of just trying to leave so we're trying to buy these transformer boxes before we go to europe because the outlet are the same in are the same in both korea and 
Belgium. So we were like, perfect, we'll be there four years. Let's just finally buy these transformers. So we'll be able to better use anything that has an American plug still, instead of having to buy everything completely new. So uh, we were going to go buy them. And then on the same day that I found, we were like price checking them out in the world, we found them on the auction site, the auction site that I famously fucking hate using and participating in <laughs> if you have been to any of these vlogs so i win the bid for two transformers for 13 dollars, and like it's saving us like close to you know 50 75 dollars that's great i try to make plans for these people to like come and pick it up and twice they fall through and the last time that it happened was yesterday it's downpouring i took luca outside in the rain drove them to base to go pick these up and pay these people and i text them at nine o'clock when we were supposed to meet and i was like i just so you know this is my exact location where i am in case you can't find me 905 rolls around and i was like just double checking that this is like the px starbucks and not like a different starbucks on banks don't hear from them 915 rolls around i'm like just checking in if this is even happening at 9 20 i get a text back from them I'm like oh sorry i'm just on my way back from the airport I was like, oh, wild. Like what a fun life that must be to not know that you're gonna be at the airport yesterday when we made these plans to meet at 9 a.m. Like I wish my life could be that lot wild and exciting, but it's like not. I like have a fucking schedule and I know where the fuck I'm gonna be at 9 a.m. and whether or not that place is the airport. Like that's so crazy. So that was annoying. And so I was just like, I'm going to just get rid of these people. I'm not dealing with them. This is not happening. And then Mike was like, actually, I really want those transformers. So like, let me talk to them. <laughs> and I was like, fine. I was ready to burn the whole world down and he was like I'll do it so he handled it and he's gonna hopefully handle that situation and get them today however because I was not convinced that this is actually going to happen I bid on a, three other transformers that I am now the leading bid on so now I'm gonna have a collection of five transformers that I don't need but it is what it is baby so yeah that's been that's been the last few weeks Luca and I are currently on a walk, a very leisurely walk. We made our way slowly, inspecting every piece of nature that we came across, which is fine. Um, those are always like really fun, nice mornings, you know? Just chill. Plus it's been raining like crazy, like I said, it's monsoon season, so we haven't been outside either in forever. Oh, also, so that's all to say, <laughs> combined with no air conditioning and it's monsoon season, I have not gone for a walk in almost a week and I feel crazy and awful and I don't like it so here we are back at it outside for a leisurely walk I didn't wake up at five I need to like roll all my stuff back out because I put it away because I wasn't using it so I need to roll it all back out so it's easy for me to use so I get up and walk at 5 a.m because I've only got like a week and a half left of, of walking on the 23rd they're coming to get my stuff I'm feeling good feeling nervous feeling excited that's that on that <music> afterwards Luca picked a donut that's filled with red bean paste that I know he wouldn't want but he had already put his grubby little paws on it so I had to buy it and then he will lick all the sugar off of the donut per usual. Thought I'd check in with you guys let you know that we're out here doing the dang thing even though it's so humid but I'll catch up with you guys soon. <music> mission to find my missing family. I stopped and got us some coffee, some drinks at Greengrass, which is our favorite little place. We'll miss it the most. Um, <laughs> they were supposed to be at the park right next door. And then I get a text from Miguel that says that they went to the park that's upstairs. This is like our hidden, we call it like the Mario park, like Mario party park, or like Mario because it's just like, it feels like a hidden level that you like go down a tube and you're like, oh, <laughs> who knew this little level thing was here? Um, anyways, but they're not here. He said that they're running through the buildings, which I don't really know how they did that. What an adventure. I see them. They're straight ahead. 
Do you see them in the distance? That yellow man, <laughs> bright yellow jersey is Miguel. There you can see him. Oh, now they're hiding behind a tree. Yoo-hoo, family. Found our family, guys. Woo, we made it. <laughs> Papa tried something new. I got my dog on a coffee as always. We got Luca a blueberry mango juice, which is just a smoothie. And when I placed my order, <laughs> he complimented Miguel on his choice. Oh, nice choice. New choice. Ah, oh, well done. <laughs> oh, no, you made a mess. And he said, dog on a coffee, always, always. <laughs> Not impressed. <laughs> it's so hot, you guys. What else is going on, Miguel? Today? Yeah, just in our lives in this well, month it's I mean, moving month yeah it is we well, are saying sayonara to korea uh anya anya aseo goodbye hello same thing is it the same thing i think it's a little bit different to say goodbye but it sounds i don't the same. think it is well they didn't teach us that our two years here have been our best in the army so we are sad to go but we're so very much excited to our next destination it's always stressful moving so we don't love that, but once we get a new apartment or a new house picked out in Belgium and all of our stuff arrives, I think it's going to be just such a great experience. We're, we're going to make the most of it. Miguel has a way of always treating, be it on camera, like he's doing a full ass like press interview. It's I'm just so presidential. Like, you just know? like talk normal. I'm so, that is me normal. I'm presidential. Um, I know like literally a million people that would say differently than that you are not presidential. I mean, I was class president. The, I was class president. I was class vice president all four years. Yeah. You only snuck, we argue about this all the time. He <laughs> snuck in at the end senior year and became the senior class president. Good got, for you. I, I was, no, you didn't. I got Nobody popular. else wanted to do it. I got popular. I was voted four years in a row because people, they like me. I was a and Miguel's star. just a sneaky snake. I was a shooting star of popularity. No, you weren't. I was. No, you weren't. I, I started off okay. at the We bottom. didn't know each other in high school, but let me tell you, if we did, we would not be together now. I'll tell you that for, for sure. Hello, baby. That's I'm so not cute. lying. I started off down here and then I got popular. Anyways, what else can we tell you about? It's birthday month, it's moving month, it's anniversary month. Our anniversary is next, next week, the 18th. Nine years married. Can you believe? Yeah. <laughs> I got this a lovely gift. We'll see what happens on my end. You guys, my brain is so blank. I have no ideas on this brain. And usually I'm like so on top of it. And I know exactly what I'm going to get him and what I'm going to do for him. And this year with the move and everything, I'm just like, I worked so hard on your dad Olympics this year. I have nothing left, so we'll see what happens. I feel really bad about it, but rightfully so, he did get me something. The light of his life, obviously. He deserves a treat. She's been a brave little girl. She deserves a treat. And then I got myself a birthday present. <laughs> I got myself a beautiful Longchamps tote bag. So if you don't know Longchamps, it's a very, popular bag with the Parisian girlies, the Tokyo girlies, and New York City working girlies. That's like their go-to work bag. And I was like, we're transitioning out of the diaper bag here soon. I need a good mom bag. And I decided that was a good one. I got it off the real real with a bunch of credit that I just had from selling a bunch of stuff on the real real like three years ago that I just haven't used yet. So it was a free bag to me basically, which is exciting, but it's brand new. And it's this gorgeous like Marie Antoinette. Like we always associate this blue with Marie Antoinette. I don't really know why blue and white. When I learned from this podcast I've been listening to that her favorite color is puce. And we need to talk about the color puce, you guys. I sent my mom an angry message when I learned that puce is not the color that I thought it was. If in your head you're thinking puce is like a vomit green color, that's what I thought too. So I heard on this podcast that I'm listening to that I'm really enjoying. It's called Even the Royals. It's on Wondery. They had two episodes about Marie Antoinette, my girl. They mentioned that her favorite color was puce. And I said, in my brain, that's green. I said, oh, that makes so much sense because her whole bedroom is literally like a light, sea foamy, kind of pukey green color. Every, like the, the bedding matches the wallpaper. 
and it's the exact same and then it has pink flowers all over it so that makes sense so i was telling miguel that and they said doesn't make sense because her bedroom was puce and mike goes puce is not green puce is pink i said no it's not you're literally insane he said no let me look it up puce is a pink and lo and behold puce is like a mauvey skin colored brownish pink who is saying that first of all that's misnomer like Whoa. puce sounds like puke it should be a pukey green secondly who is saying that their favorite color is puce it's literally caucasian skin colored who likes that that's fucking weird and so then i I angrily sent a Marco Polo to my mom and said, mom, you've been lying to me my entire life. Why didn't you tell me that puce isn't green and it's actually pink? And my mom, who is an artist, I don't know if you know this about her, but she's an artist. And she said, Biz, you never specifically asked me about puce. So how could I have been lying to you that you just assumed that it was green? And then she said, do you know the color? Was it chartreuse? I think that's what it was, yeah. Or part, part No, it started with a C. And I said, of course, I don't know what that color is. She said, well, that's more of the color that you're thinking of. And I was like, they should, chartreuse should be the pink and the puce should be the green. My whole world has been turned upside down in the matter of minutes. And that's just the stress I've been going through. Can you imagine learning that puce isn't green and then being asked to pack up your house to move? It's too much. And with this looming deadline that my book is due in 12 days, I can't do it. I can't. I'm a shell of a human being. I'm exhausted. It's very hard over here. But anyway, long story short, we were talking about my Longchamps bag. So I got it in this beautiful blue color that I'm really excited about. It's like very me, very she, very uh, French inspired, I would say. So I'm very pleased about it with brown leather. But the real real doesn't ship to, to PO boxes. So I had to ship it to my mom's house and then she'll ship it to me. So in a while I will be getting that bag, but that's fine because I don't need it immediately and we're moving it's a mess that's been us that's the catch-up that's everything i have to say right now on july what is it 11 12 no 14th holy shit movers are here on the 22nd 23rd ship our car the 24th we move into a hotel the 22nd and then we're out of here the 31st you guys out of here headed to belgium okay so we have our first trip planned for luca for his birthday i just thought i'd catch up with you guys because this is gonna be the hardest part is catching up with keeping up with you guys doing all of those things i have to do before i can do the packing you heard my long list it's enormous i'm booked and busy the two books that i did read the one book i just finished was how to end a love story it was a reese witherspoon's book club pick usually i try not to read like celebrity book club books because they seem to be like overhyped but it was pretty good i really liked it it was very sad but so good then this one i'm reading right now is called just a silly love story or just a dumb love story just a stupid love story something like that they'll both be in my bookshop page if you want to see what i was what i read um but that one's like pretty good i'm not like too into the writing but it's a very interesting it's about a high school they were dating all of high school and then they re-met at the 15 year reunion and kind of like their story and it's just very interesting because the dynamic is very similar to me and my high school boyfriend and she just like abruptly very meanly breaks up with him like on prom night and that is not dissimilar to how I broke up with my boyfriend <laughs> it wasn't on prom night but it was very abrupt and it was very mean and it's and he like like literally the personalities are are too similar and it's strange so it's been interesting to like read that but it's pretty good good enough that i will read it instead of packing for the movers so and then our book club book this week, month is the housemaid by frida mcfadden this will be like my third or fourth frida mcfadden book that i've read miguel's gonna read it and join book club with us this month how exciting is that and then i don't know what book club looks like in august because we'll all be in different time zones and my time zone will be like so hard to match up with everybody else's i'll make it work i like book club i don't want it to disappear but We'll see how it goes. XOXO. I'll see you when I see you. Who knows? You have no idea how humid it is here. Oh my word. Happy Friday. July 19th. 
yesterday was our nine year wedding anniversary. Can you believe that? Holy mackerel. We actually got to spend the majority of yesterday together as a family. And I don't know the last time that we did that on an anniversary. So crazy. We went and had some gorgeous, gorgeous bagels at the bagel um, shop that's close to base. But yesterday it did not stop raining, downpouring monsoon. And the base actually was flooded. So crazy. In areas, there was flooding on some of the streets around our buildings. Just crazy. It's supposed to be raining nonstop until Tuesday, but it's not raining this morning. So we were like, we'll take advantage of it. Like it hard to breathe human. Like it's a mess. So that's us this morning. Today is the day that moving stuff like officially starts. They're coming to pick up our table that we've had loaned from the from Camp Humphreys this afternoon. Monday, they come and get our unaccompanied baggage, which is mostly just Luca stuff and kitchen stuff. And then Tuesday, they come and get the rest and we're living in a hotel. We're down to the final days. It's so crazy. And then we were just talking about how we have basically a full weekend in the hotel and there's not a whole lot to do on base and we won't have a car because we're shipping that on Wednesday and so we might just like hop on a subway and go explore nearby towns and just see how it goes we haven't really made a plan I don't think we need one we were talked about going back to Suwon I would like to go back to Suwon I really enjoyed it there's that my whopping place that I made Luca's luggage tag that I would love to make some more luggage tags for me and Miguel if it happens it happens if it doesn't not a big deal but that's us baby just sweating out the toxins <laughs> not by joyce because it's so absolutely mother trucking hot holy cow after a wild first day of movers yesterday we are on day two hoping for it to be better the skin is absolutely insane do you see how many stickers i have one i have two right here so three four five Probably could have done one up here too, but I didn't. She's beauty, she's grace. She's breaking out all over her face. But we're just waiting for them to arrive and we'll catch up with you in the hotel, I think. Last time I talked to you was the 23rd, 4th, potentially 10 days ago. <laughs> Today is August 6th. We're in Belgium. We made it. We're in the hotel on the base, on the Air Force base. So Mike will be working on Shape NATO base. And that is in a university town called Mons. But we are staying at the hotel that is on the Air Force base in a town called Chivres. Um, that could be very wrong, but they're about like 20 to 30 minutes away, depending on traffic. We've gotten to explore driving on Belgian roads, uh, which is basically just all country roads and they're teeny tiny and it's so crazy. I don't drive them yet, TBD. But yeah, so much has happened. We've just been, you know, fighting jet lag, trying to stay afloat, trying to stay alive, um, taking it one literal, sometimes just hour at a time when you're counting down to when we can actually go to bed because of jet lag it's been a whirlwind <sighs> my skin awful terrible it has not enjoyed moving um but i think we're on the up and up here because we're away from the korean hard water we're away from all of the dust and the mold that was going on in the hotel in korea so i think once we get settled we'll be fine the only bummer is i don't i didn't pack a moisturizer like who the fuck am i i forgot this is what happened, I'll tell you why. We had been planning to send ahead of us from APO to APO, which is free shipping um, for, for the military, if from APO to APO is free, up to 70 pounds. And so I packed all of my extra skincare into a box and was going to ship it APO to APO, but they like kept flagging us and being like, hey, you can't do this if you're moving, not allowed. <laughs> and I was like, fucking why though? I already have an APO set up. And so I never 
pulled out a moisturizer then to like put in my traveling stuff because it wasn't going to meet me it wasn't going to be in that box the box was going to come with the rest of our stuff in like three months and so I never grabbed one before we moved and I have not replaced it with anything yet so I really need to do that because I do know that like a lot of healing will happen when you're properly hydrated on the face and so that's a big bummer I don't have that right now also you might be saying biz is that you new glasses yes they are new glasses i went and i got i got some new glasses before we left fendi nbd not why i got them i got them because they were slytherin green and i was like ooh, ah uh, and then he said they were fendi and i was like oh i didn't notice on the side i was literally just looking at the the lens part and then i was like they're the only ones that like look as good on my face as I would like them to so classic biz hall situation but here's the thing we had junked Mike's car and we also got a refund for our security deposit so then we had a crap ton of wand that we had to spend before we left because if we converted it all we would lose a lot of money so we bought some glasses Miguel got a new pair of glasses I got these glasses and I got some sunglasses which I don't love but they will work I don't know if you've been a part of that sunglasses saga in our lives, but um, I've been owed prescription sunglasses for uh, Valentine's Day. And these are not exactly what I wanted, but they will work. So I'm probably going to be on the hunt out here in these streets in Europe for a better frame and just pay the money to get lenses put into them. And that's that on that. I feel like there's so much to tell you guys I don't think like this is the vlog to like sit down and tell you our entire trials and tribulations of getting to Belgium I just thought I would check in with you and wrap all this up for my July fitness vlog which is very um late <laughs> due to traveling and trying not to die but if you'd like to see that I'll have a nice little sit down video for you guys with regarding that this weekend is Luca's third birthday can you believe so we were thinking about trying to go up to Ghent for a day trip. It's like an hour and a half drive for us or a three hour bus ride. And Miguel keeps saying like, or not bus, but train. And I was like, dude, with a toddler, we're not doing three hours to get somewhere. And then three hours back. That's six hours of our entire day. And we're only doing a day trip. That's literally crazy. We would have to spend the night and he doesn't want to spend the night. So just like boy logic and mom logic are literally two different things. Anyways, so we'll see if that happens. So I might have a sit down and just like update you guys while we're in Ghent. But I also might just have like a fun little day vlog from Ghent. Who knows? But I promise to update everybody on anyone who's interested to hear our trials and tribulations of getting to Belgium. How it's been going. Any questions you might have. Also, I mentioned earlier in my vlog, I was reading a book that reminded me a lot of my high school boyfriend and how I ruined his life. And I will always apologize for that. I was 100% in the wrong. I will never in a million years hold any like I I only hold like gratitude and appreciation in my heart for him but I know he holds a lot of I don't know if he's gotten over it we haven't talked but <laughs> a lot of anger and hatred towards me in the way that I handled it and so if you want to hear that story we can have that little sit down and chat and do if you'd like I was just thinking about that as I was editing stuff for this um so let me know down in the comments if you want to hear that little up update and uh, that little story that story time some tea I can tell you that I don't mind I've told it a few times actually um once when I used to have a podcast back in the day with my friend Katie I told it there and then I just I've told it to people throughout the years it does not paint me in a good light but it is what it is I can't say that it didn't happen anyways yeah that is me I just thought I would get in here update you tell you hey i'm alive we made it and i will update you guys all very soon thank you for everyone's patience like always any books that i mention in any of my videos can be found on my bookshop.org page if you're interested in any of those if you shop the bookshop.org i do make a tiny commish just heads up but also supports local indie bookstores so it keeps those alive and well so i highly recommend use the link in the description box below if you like to see what i've got going on down there like comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so i'd love to have you along on this youtube journey obviously 
also catch me on Instagram. That's where I give most of my reports. Like live. that's where I check in on a daily basis. If you're curious about what we're going, what we're getting into, and all that stuff, make sure to check out my Instagram, which is like XOXO Biz. Put the stuff down here. Thank you again so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, the same with you.